Greetings, friends! Welcome to Kerbal Space Program! This is the long, long-awaited 1.0 release. Isn't it beautiful? Actually, it doesn't really look any different than it did before. But this is just the start. So this is a whole fresh, fresh install. We're gonna start a whole new game. I'm gonna do a whole new series. Everything is new! And look at these three guys. They're still here, floating, stranded in space, orbiting backwards around Kerbin. Oh, look, a new person! Ooh, it's Valentina! They finally added female Kerbals, so it's not just a giant sausage fest in space. A new career mode, yes! A new career mode, and we're going... to space! I added our flag! We have our own flag! Our own flag! I can show you how to do that later. If anyone's interested, please leave a comment. Ooh, here, here's something fun we can do. No, no reverting flights. If I screw up, I screw up. We're gonna, we're gonna unclick that. Without quick loading? Mm, nope! Missing crews respond. Nope, when they're dead, they're dead. No entry purchase required on research. I'll leave that one on, because I always hated doing that before. Okay, okay, custom. Guess we're on custom difficulty. Just normal whatever, but if I screw up, Jeb, Jeb will actually die. This is going to raise the stakes a little bit. I hope. I hope. I hope he doesn't die. I kind of hope he does. All right, let's go to space. Welcome to the space center. You click on various things to, to go in and do stuff. This is research. Can't really do anything because we don't have any science. You use science to unlock stuff. But you earn science by performing experiments. This tracking station... You can look at the universe! Isn't it pretty? In here... Mission control! We actually do our... Ooh! We got... We got altitude record... Things active already. Oh, and we make money for completion. Here you accept contracts, so launch your first vessel. Yep, we're gonna do that, accept that contract. Escape the atmosphere, we'll do that eventually. Here, we have the astronaut complex. We hire astronauts. You can hire, you got all these people. Looks like a mix, mix of male and female. Now we have the original Jeb Bill Bob and Valentina now, added on. She's a pilot, oh, so she's like Jeb. Oh, but she's less stupid than Jeb. I see how it works. What? Next hire 65,000 funds? Oh, so if people die, you have to hire new people and it costs money. Oh, okay. That's... that's definitely new. This thing here, you build planes. This thing here, you build rockets. So without further ado, let's get going! I want to go to space! Alright, here is the VAB. And on the left we got the different... different tabs for different kinds of parts. Not... not a lot of parts unlocked at the moment, as you can see. But we're gonna need a command pod to stick someone in there. No fuel tanks available. What's this? The only engine of the flea. What is the flea? Oh, it's a cute little solid rocket booster. Look at that. It's so cute and little and explosive. And a parachute. Definitely gonna need a parachute. We don't want Jeb to die. Oh, and we can do mystery goo. Excellent. Mystery goo is a science thing. So we observe the mystery goo under different uh, different conditions, and that gives us science points. They look smaller. They look smaller than they were before. Maybe they are. I don't know. This is new, on the lower lower right here. The engineer's report. There used to be one that told you how many parts, how big it was. Now it tells you, do you have parachutes? You know, do you have... Oh, unused monopropellant resource. That's true. The, the command pod has monopropellant. We don't need any of that. Monopropellant is like for thrusters to help you move around, and there are monopropellant engines, but I don't have any of those unlocked. Okay, you'll also notice, upper left here, you have crew! We click crew, we got Jebediah, we got Jebediah, oh, you know what? We should put Valentina in it. Make her fly the first inaugural flight of this new game, because she's the new character, the new member of the family. And it is a family, look, they all got the same name. Kerman, 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 Kerman. Severe inbreeding on this planet, apparently. Okay, here we are! Oh, our, our launch pad looks more like a, more like a parking lot than it does an actual launch thing. Always remember, hit T which enables SAS, that's kind of a kind of a control thing, it'll help keep you stable. Help keep you stable, and then as as your pilots get experience, they'll be able to do more cool things with the SAS. But right now it's just keeping you stable. Oh, oh, check this out. Beware of this. So right now it's set that I hit the hit the SRB, solid rocket booster, and the parachute goes. That's something that I screwed up in one of my previous videos. Be sure to be sure to change that. All right, so this time we gotta protect, protect Valentina because she's, she's only got one life here. Okay, three, two, one, go. Whoa, nine G's, ten G's. Uh oh, uh oh, ten G's. This is crazy. Look at her go. Woo! She's fl oh, she's happy. She's having a really good time. We should probably do some science. Crew report. Mystery goo. 
Open, the goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. Goo would do that. She's so happy. Look at her smile. She's like, yeah. Screw your 10 Gs. Now we're falling back. Falling back down. Should probably put the parachute out, eh? There we go. So while we're slowly falling back down to what is inevitably the first successful landing of our space program, I'll go over some of the hotkeys. M? M goes to map view. You can see the trajectory of your spacecraft. Now I know we're going straight up and straight down, but remember the planet's rotating, so our actual trajectory relative to the planet if it weren't rotating is an arch. Neat little fact there. C, C goes back and forth to the inside view. And then you can look around. Pretty fun. These, these gauges don't really tell you much, but they are there. And you got a window. Here we go. Touchdown! Woo! We landed. We landed successfully. And guess what? Now that we're on the ground, we can observe the mystery goo. The other one. Get her to drop down EVA report from the launch pad. And look at that. When you recover the spaceship, not only do you get all the science stored in that spaceship, but you get some money back for all the parts. Some money back at 100% value because I landed... If you land on on the launch pad or on the runway, you get 100% of the value back. Alright, next contract. Orbit Kerbin. And also set the following altitude records and escape the atmosphere and go really, really, really fast. I think we can do that. But to do it, we're going to need to unlock some parts. Liquid. Liquid fuel. Bigger solid rocket booster. That's good. Cockpit. Ooh, more science. More science is always good because you need it. You need more science to, to unlock to unlock more stuff. We got these two we can unlock. They each cost five science. We got 22. We can just do both. We don't even have to pick. Whoa, I'm gonna need to come up with a, a new flag. Mine's all stretchy. It's like I'm looking at a funhouse mirror. And behold, here it is. We're gonna we're gonna try this. We got two science juniors, two little liquid tanks. Our new little liquid rocket. We're just gonna give it give it a, a quick little test a test flight. Controls so control lowers throttle, shift raises throttle. Z is full, and X is nothing. Got that written down? Good. Okay, and three, two, one, go. All right, we're flying. All right, I'm gonna cut power. Cut power a little bit early. All right, I'll, I'll try to tip over a little. Woo, burning. There we go, now we'll land somewhere else. We won't land back in the launch pad. Now, why did I leave some fuel in? You'll notice we're not going very slow, we're kind of moving fast. The extra fuel I left is to cushion our landing. Look at that. Then as soon as we touch down, X to cut the power. No, don't tip over, don't tip over. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, well, we're good. That, that worked out better than I thought it would. Mystery goo time. Crew report. All right, EVA. All right, now that you drop down, we'll do another EVA report. Woo, look at all the science. 27.6 science earned. And Valentina, no XP gained. What? She just landed a liquid fuel rocket and tipped over. That's got to be worth something. Welcome to your lock with our 40 points. Any two of these three. So here's more engines. Ooh, a big solid fuel booster. So what do I want? Do I want more power? That's probably a good, a good bet. Winglets. Or... And a service bay. What's a service bay? Oh, cool. No, I, I gotta do a service bay. Gotta do a service bay. I think I think my rocket's pointy enough without these things. And and more power. Yeah. More power and a service bay. That's what we'll do. We unlock the swivel liquid fuel engine. Swivel has gimbling. And what gimbal means is this bottom here can kind of point in various directions to help steer you. Goodbye, old crap. Hello, new engine. And under the structural tab, we got a decoupler. And the decoupler decouples. Put our giant SRB on the bottom. You can right click and adjust how much thrust and how much fuel. We're, we're probably going to only need half thrust on this. Behold! Now even longer! Alright, alright, Valentina. Are you ready? You ready to be the first Kerbal Knot in space? Three, two, one, go! Oh, that's cool. The, the wind effects. They blow off to the side now. Climbing, climbing, she's so happy. Smile, smile, smile. Look at that beautiful water. World's first altitude record of 7,500 meters achieved. Woo! You're happy. Gotta be happy about that. Uh-oh, it ran out. Okay, so now we're gonna hit space to decouple. Uh, space, to, space to go! If you go to the map view, you can kind of see your trajectory, and it'll actually tell you how high up you're gonna go. 
44 kilometers. So it's not quite to space, but it's close. You'll see it's dropping because the atmosphere is slowing us down. Guess we're not going to space. Sorry, not this flight. Next time, maybe. We're coming down on the side of the hill. Luckily, Valentina has experience tipping over in spacecraft. She'll be fine. Here we go, here we go, and... Touchdown! No, you're supposed to tip the other way. No! No, it blew up! It blew up! Oh, but everyone's okay. Woo! We'll, we'll strap some more rockets on this thing. Here we go. This'll help. Alright, what, what could possibly go wrong here? Heat shield. Oh. I probably need one of those. I don't, I don't want Valentina dying. So I'm gonna stick a heat shield. I want to save all of this science. And then under that, decouple. So this way, my heat shield will protect all the science, the decoupler will let all the rest of the crap fall, and my engines will still work. Sound good? What? This vehicle assembly building can't support vessels over 30 parts. Right! I have to, I have to upgrade those. Much better. Oh, it's too heavy now. It's too heavy. Three, two, one, go! Is it just me, or is there more fire coming from the bottom of this? Ooh, and wind effects. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eject! Goodbye! Now we're flying. Let, let's start tipping a little. Start- oh no, you don't want to tip too far! Ah! Ah! Save us, Mr. Swivelly Engine! 60? You can steer from this menu, by the way, see? 70! 82! That's space! Okay, we'll save, save the remainder of our fuel for once we get into space. It's like we're falling up nice and peacefully. Woo! Distance! Land distance record. What? Oh, so horizontal distance from from the space center. Because I've just been going up and down. Now we're actually, like, going somewhere. Wait for it. Space! Woo! Altitude record of 70 kilometers. We are now in space. Goodbye, atmosphere. Goodbye. I'm going to do some science. The microgravity has greatly, bleh, greatly affected the growth of crystalline structures. Loose objects are also flying around in the bay in a very messy but fascinating way. The goo appears and it seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. Okay, so it's cold. That's boring. Crew report! We are very much in space right now. The sky seems mostly below us. Indeed it does. Okay, we're coming up. We're pretty high up. I'm gonna hit the engines. Let's try to get this baby into some orbitness. Go, go, go! And she really likes the G-forces. Look at that smile. I don't think she could smile any bigger. Her mouth would cover up her eyes. Distance, 17 kilometers. Oh, out of fuel. We are we are not going to orbital velocity. Oh, well, we got pretty high. We got pretty high. Guess I'll eject that. Oh, it's so cool looking. So cool. Ooh, look at the shiny, shiny new, shiny new heat shield. I'm going to rotate us over. Place the heat shield into the path of the fire. And we're, we're going to fall fall back down now. Probably land in the water. So while we're falling, I'll take a look up here. So here it shows our funds. Whoa, almost half a million. Your reputation. You want to keep it in the green. And how much science you have currently. This tab, your contracts. I've been achieving contracts like mad. So that's that's good news for us. Here's basic fuel. Fuel ablator. That's the heat shield. It it burns away as uh, as it cools us down. Whoa! Speaking of that, oh no! Oh no, Valentina! What are you doing? Wrong way! Uh oh, that's not good. That's the wrong way. You don't want that part facing the fire. No! Don't die! I don't want to kill the first female Kerbal not in space. Oh, <laughs> she died. She blew up, and I can't go back. I literally can't go back. I just killed Valentina. I just killed Valentina on her first mission in space. No, no. Oh, 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 no. Oh,